the south. Wait, those the enemy? They are. Yeah. In Evil Lord, if you ever wanted legitimate dialogue for any NPCs, I'd be willing to provide voices for them. Like, if you ever wanted, I could, um, send you the files, uh, I could send you the MP4, uh, or the MP3 files. I don't know if you know, you should know, because you've been around my stream long enough, you should know that I'm interested in voiceover, and I want to make a career out of voice acting. So, um... If you ever are making an NPC mod uh, with a unique NPC that needs uh, needs like custom made dialogue and you can't like take it from the game sound, uh, I'd be I'd love to be able to provide my voice for the character. That is if you'd have me, if you'd be willing to use my voice. Huh. Interesting. Alrighty, A King, thanks for coming by, man. Thanks for the loan, or uh, rather, I'll just consider it a donation. Thanks for the donation um, to my character's uh, situation, because he definitely is financially struggling in terms of the credits, so thank you for that. Oh. No. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, no. Crap!
I don't really have an opinion, Stealth Panther. Not 100% sure if you're being honest either, so. Let's see here. Yeah, I agree, Evil Lord. I'm sure you've probably heard of the mod Interesting NPCs. They do a lot of that stuff, and it is definitely, um, uh, it's definitely awesome. Like, it's one of the best mods ever. It has, has so many interesting new characters, as well as really awesome and interesting followers. <laughs> you like fried rice? Hey, uh, hey, Evil Lord, can I tell you something? I, uh, I, I like fried rice. there. Oh, this freaking journey. It's insane. It's taking me forever. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, I forgot he man was a thing. Oh, look at you guys. You're all allies, aren't you? Whoa, look at all these Sith Lords. Hey there. Look at these dudes. Ooh. That was so weird looking character. He's like, Woo! <laughs> that was weird. I'm not gonna get any more quests here. I'm already over leveled for the planet. I'm just gonna do my quests and get the heck out. Ah, Sith. Dathis Elgin, Imperial Advisor to House Thule. Am I glad to see you? House Thule faces a crisis that threatens to undermine their entire position on Alderaan. And the Empires as well. You'll have to tell me what this crisis is before I agree to anything. House Rist, Alderaan's House of Assassins, is currently aligned with the usurper House Ulgo. But there was a time when Rist did all manner of secret jobs for whomever paid. Now the dirty details of those jobs are threatening to get out. I don't know if uh, I can trust you, Evil Lord. You kind of sketch. Do you need 
me to go teach this house wrist. <laughs> Is that the real reason? The wrist mm. has held to their honor. They are not responsible for the current predicament. A former wrist assassin, kicked out for revealing the identity of one of his employers, is blackmailing Thule. He says he'll reveal every assassination, every kidnapping, every conniving thing Thule has done unless we pay him. Just tell me where he is and I'll kill him. I'd rather not have him killed if possible. It raises too many questions. We've arranged a meeting to deliver payment. But he's recruited some of Rist's best assassins to his side. I don't trust him. That's why I need you. Someone strong enough to withstand whatever trap he intends to spring. So what exactly do I do? This man wants to establish his own house of assassins. And he has demanded land and oh, a title man. as payment for his silence. Take this case and meet Let's him at the assigned out. meeting place. Hit my, uh, if he takes the bribe... Yeah, I'm, I'm silent right now. If not, Can I focus? kill him. <laughs> no. Oh, you mean, uh, oh, you mean Evil Lord. Yeah, man. I wonder who he went off to. I wonder what he's doing. Hmm. That is very, very weird, Stealth Panther. I do not recommend any human being ever, at an early age, like three years old, take anything that Darth Vader or Darth Sidious says to heart, because that could produce some serious mental issues when to, in adulthood. Like, you definitely can enjoy watching, you can definitely watch Star Wars and definitely enjoy it at an early age, but I definitely don't recommend taking what the main villain, who's all about hatred and evil, says to heart and apply it to your life. Any more focus to the game. Yeah. I know, I know, on rush. I'm like, uh, okay. That's interesting, I guess. Definitely something else. Gosh, it is funny on rush, but come on, man. Get off his back. He's talking about good mods. Get off his back. The slavery system sounds interesting. Very, very evil and creepy, but do it does sound interesting. That uh, so it sounds like a Dark Brotherhood sort of thing, and uh, as well as like um, prison torture animations. That sounds like stuff that uh, um, <laughs> it sounds like uh, something the the Dark Brotherhood would get in the habit of doing. It's interesting. Hmm. 
All right, let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Miss me? All right, let's roll. No, it's definitely the opposite, dude. The thieves guild doesn't have any slaves at all. All they do is steal. They don't have. They don't hold. They don't keep prisoners. They don't have slaves. That's just that goes against their beliefs. The Dark Brotherhood would have slaves, though. The Dark Brotherhood would have slaves, and uh, they would torture their prisoners because they're very evil like that. So. I don't think you get it, Evil Lord. He's talking about your sexual curiosity about this, uh, the nudity mods. But you're right, and like you should that uh, English speak it. Um, you're right about um, uh, it's not wrong to like a mod, but <laughs> it's not wrong to like a mod. But you uh, you definitely. Um, I don't think you're catching his meaning. That is really, really weird, Self Panther. I'm not even really going to respond to that other than just saying that is very, very weird and highly unusual. Well, brother, would you look at this? A Sith. I guess Thule isn't half as stupid as I thought. It won't do them any good, but I'd give them points for trying. Now, if you'd kindly hand over the payment. I'm not giving you a thing until I'm sure there are no tricks. Tricks? We've only just met. You already know me so well. I thought Thule would send some scrawny diplomat I could take hostage, but you, you'll fetch a higher price. I'm going to enjoy kicking your face in. Don't get your hopes up. We've been doing this our whole lives. Getting beaten to death. Kicked. Just get your gosh dang booties kicked. <laughs> oh, I still have no clue what you said. Absolutely no idea. Right, talk to me, you foolish kid. Stop! Stop this guy! He has the better of us, and besides, it's not worth it. The evidence is already on its way to House Algo. He had no intention of giving it to you. You will all pay for this. Sam, you idiot! We could have been counts! You've lost all sense of honor. Why in stealing? I swore to live by a code. The runner with the evidence is delivering it to Algo's son, Bessex. Sam, you'd betray your own brother? I'll kill you for that! Damn it, Kai. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Look, Boom! The coordinates the runner was headed to are in the console over there. You might be able to catch him if you hurry. I'll take Kai's assassins. I promise, neither you nor Thul will hear from us again. No one betrays me and lives. Screw you, vet. I don't care what you think. This moron betrayed me, and so he dies. That's really odd, Stealth Panther. I expected as much. Spare no detail. If Vesix Orgo gets that evidence, soon every house on Alderaan will know who Thul hired risk to kill and when. They won't just banish Thul, they'll destroy them. And the Empire's chances on Alderaan will die with them. Just give me a chance to find Orgo and stop them from distributing the evidence. That may be easier said than done. Vesex Uldo commands a squad of the most <laughs> highly trained commanders on Alderaan. They have even defeated Jedi. But you, you may stand a chance. I have to ask you to recover that evidence quickly. You know what? I don't want to know. I will 
happily face this danger. Thank you so much. Find the evidence, destroy it, and I promise you'll double the reward when you return. Yeah, I have no idea what the heck Stealth Panther's talking about on Rush. I don't even know. It doesn't matter if he wants to atone for his mistakes, he failed me in the first place. The very mere thought that he could betray a Sith Lord so powerful as me, betray the Empire, um, allows him, provides him with the opportunity of death. I don't care if he could have made up for his mistake. The fact that he was stupid and foolish enough and arrogant enough that he thought he could betray the Empire and betray me in the first place is more than enough to earn him death. I I don't know what you're I don't know what you're saying, self Panther. Like I don't, I don't even know what you're saying anymore. Tears of wrist vengeance. Okay. <laughs> it's true. None of us know what he's saying anymore. Absolutely no idea. I don't even know if Panther's a guy or a girl. I think he's. I think it said it was a girl. Hey there. Rush. <laughs> I haven't played it, honestly. I haven't played it uh, on Rush, so. Yeah, I haven't played it. But it's, I just, I love, I love your reaction and everything. He's like, dude, I have no idea what you're saying. Like, come on, man. He's played it before. Like, gosh. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. You're a girl stealth panther? Alright. We are weird. Nothing personal. Or at least the stuff that you're putting in the chat is weird. Sorry. I'm just stating a fact. Ooh, get some of this stuff in here. Cool. Marked man. Uh, no, I want. Tears of Wrist Avenge. Right. The body of Wrist Avenge is on the Toxin. Wrist tears from wrist assassins camps. Okay.
I see. Here it is. I know. That's why I was that. I know. That's what I was saying uh, on rush, or that's what I was thinking rather. I'm not so sure Stealth is actually a girl. <sighs> I hope that you're telling the truth, Stealth, but a lot of the internet is full of lies and deception, unfortunately. I told you the definition of insanity. Handsome Jack's an awesome villain. I love that man. I love Handsome Jack. He's such an awesome villain. Yeah, you're killing stuff. It's like, oh man, like you're you're killing stuff. It's like, and he's just sitting there. Hey, uh, uh, oh, these pretzels suck. How's your day been, buddy? Uh, how's it been since I, you know, left here for dead? It's like, <laughs> this guy, he's so overconfident. It's funny. He's hilarious. The writing for Handsome Jack was great. When a strong man denies what is in front of him, he creates his own. He creates his own what? His own strength. <laughs> if he deny a strong man des denies what's in front of him, then he creates his own strength because he's a strong man, or he creates his own so he creates something else to deny. What does he create? Collect the tears of. Oh, I see. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> Crap, what a gosh dang uh, long thing. I know, dude. That was one of my favorite parts. One of my favorite lines that he gave it was so awesome. I was going to call it Piss for Brains in honor of you, but that just seems immature. About butt selling? Uh, maybe. I'll give it some more thought. It's a quote from the game, Evil Lord. Come on, man. I would have assumed that you actually knew who Handsome Jack was, or have played uh, Borderland, Borderlands 2 before I'm Evil Lord. Apparently I was wrong. It's too bad. It's one of the best games I've ever played. And on rush, uh, here just it was a just quoted one of uh, one of the best lines in that whole game. <laughs> 